As a provider of standby and emergency power systems, we are very familiar with disaster response following the havoc hurricane force winds, intense rain, and storm surge flooding have on the local utility supply. Following Hurricane Katrina in 2005 and Superstorm Sandy in 2012, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, known as FEMA, investigated how we could be better prepared for hurricanes and mitigate their damage. After both storms, there were widespread power outages and in many areas there was no power for a few weeks. In addition to the utility power failing, FEMA also investigated why many standby generators failed to start or provide sustained critical power to healthcare and communication installations after the storms had destroyed the locally distributed utility power. One of their conclusions was how exposed generators and their fuel supply were to rising flood water brought on by hurricane storm surges, heavy rain, and flying debris. FEMA determined standby systems installed at ground level in areas predetermined to be in flood-prone coastal areas were particularly exposed. A key recommendation of FEMA was to install generator sets and ancillary equipment such as fuel tanks and distribution panels above the flood line to ensure the equipment is safely above the flood level. Another recommendation was for outside generators to be installed in enclosures to protect them from flying debris whipped up by hurricane strength wind. At a minimum, generators should be protected with an enclosure. However, it's preferable that they also have retainer walls erected with sufficient space between the wall and generator for maintenance. As flood waters rise, the generator and fuel storage remain above the water level and continue to operate and the generator is protected from flying debris. Generators installed in basements prone to flooding were another problematic issue. Major storms produce significant flooding with storm surges and heavy rain. After the utility fails, emergency power takes over. However, as the ground becomes saturated and can no longer absorb any more water, it causes the water table to rise. As the basement becomes flooded with rising flood water, the set shuts down and all power is lost from both the utility and standby generator. FEMA recommends a generator system and its fuel supply is installed no lower than the ground floor and on concrete plinths above projected flood levels. In addition, the generator should be firmly anchored to the concrete with adequate space to walk around for maintenance. The building's walls should be strong enough to protect from hurricane force wind and windborne debris. When a strong storm system creates flood conditions and strong winds stir up debris, the generator will be protected and able to supply power even when the utility is knocked out. Another reason for standby systems failing was poor maintenance. Kohler distributors see one of their primary services as providing planned maintenance to owners of standby generator systems. FEMA recommends planned maintenance programs for generator systems to ensure critical components within the system do not fail when the utility power drops out. Batteries should be checked and be connected to automatic battery chargers. Fuel tanks should be maintained full and fuel quality inspected with diesel fuel polishing. Air, fuel, and oil filters should be changed as dictated by the manufacturer. Electrical panels and transfer switches should also be checked to ensure they are in a state of readiness when the utility fails. It is very important that a well thought out emergency plan be drawn up and in the hands of all personnel that have to deal with emergency electrical power in the case of any disaster. This plan should clearly define responsibilities and actions so that no confusion occurs in practice. As your authorized Kohler power distributor, we are fully trained and knowledgeable how your generator set should be installed and maintained in a state of readiness to ensure you have power when storm wind and water have disrupted the utility supply.